And just like that, we are back with the next one. What is going on with my little phone holder? I think it's losing its elasticity. We are back with the third one to see what it has to offer. So we'll see if this uh, It Hurts is a part three or if it literally if it's about to be over right now. So let's let's uh, get into this. Hot dog, me. It's you. Yeah, let me let me uh let me, let me get some uh. Do I look? I don't care what you're talking about. Let me just give you some stuff. What you want? Yeah, get two of those. You've done me. Well, get to the point then. Bang. There's a trove of knowledge to be found in the West. The first time I saw for myself what they'd accomplished, I realized how little I really knew. Aside from cholera, there are a lot of illnesses our medicine can't cure. If we don't learn what we can from the West, our country is all but doomed. It's simple. If we want to save lives, we shouldn't be dwelling on what divides our countries. Not that I'm endorsing the Red Demon's methods. <laughs> Throwing me in jail for the most tenuous of connections to the expulsionists. It makes my blood boil. I mean, he's spitting facts. Like, we should be worried about the betterment of everything, not some, oh, keep yourself a purist, based in a way. Like, get what you can from them. It's like, it's like if you at any job or whatever, you have any leaders, you take the good from them, you leave the bad. Like, every leader is not going to be a great leader. But what you can do is like, all right, this leader has some good stuff, some good things I want to take from them, some good things they taught me. I'm going I'm to use that. But they had a bunch of bad stuff, too. But So I'm going to not use none of that bad stuff. Like, it's just like that. Hey, America, America has some stuff I want to trade with them. I don't want to be in crazy cahoots with them because I don't like what they stand for. But they do have some things that can help my country out, like some cures of certain diseases. And that, that actually reminded me uh, to, to talk about. Uh, <clears throat> that was one of the big things that killed a bunch of people off and stuff in general was diseases. Diseases was the like the ultimate thing that killed some stuff. Like I think they said like what like seventy percent of the Native Americans got wiped out because of smallpox. Like it wasn't wasn't due to fighting and stuff like that. It was smallpox. S smallpox was something that was unknown and uncommon to them. They had no f they had nothing to fight against it. So that's what it was. That was also one of the tactics they used that the uh, Americans used. Uh, at that point, the British really used is they gave blankets to the Native Americans for the winter, but the 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 blankets were um, like infectious blankets. They came from people that had smallpox, basically. So they basically infected them with smallpox purposely to take some land and stuff away from them. So diseases has always been a, a huge thing. That's why whenever you go to different countries and stuff like that, you got to be uh, not necessarily worried, but you have to be on your P's and Q's a little bit. To kill us, do it fast. We shook them, gave us a chance to escape. I wish I could say that was the worst that happened. Let's just say I'm glad Paza's back, and I have you to thank for that. So, thank you. Hang a lot. I usually just skip part, skip through all that stuff. That's a rather difficult question. I suppose he's. Uh, a bit socially inept. He can be a little brusque when he speaks, even to those being kind to him. I'm afraid that extends to his patients, too. I wonder if he just doesn't want others to know how he really feels. <sighs> a pity, because he might be the most caring man I know. All right, so we just upped her stuff. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and report to Ina. Dr. Narasaki arrived earlier. It seems you rescued him. I thank you. I appreciate all the effort you have gone to. I really must think of a way to repay you. Oh. 
I will. I've made a lot of preparations to that end. I'll find a treatment, whatever it takes. I heard something very important from Dr. Narasaki. The juice of the lemon can be used to treat cholera. The problem is, there isn't any of this fruit in Japan. But my father's friend, Mr. Fortune, might be able to help. I'll head now to the Koishikawa Botanical Garden to find him. Meet me there, if you're interested in helping. Yeah, see, I knew it wasn't over. Wait, where's my quest marker? Oh, maybe it was over. Okay, so since that... This is a side quest, but I'm pretty sure if I do this quest, everything's going to be over. So we're going to do this side quest in this video. Usually I won't do side quests in the videos, but that was very weird for it to end like that. And then the side quest pop up and it tell me to do the side quest. I got so much stuff to still do. That I haven't usually I would take care of all of that stuff already and y'all wouldn't even know about it. Okay. How what, what do we got? Alright. Not technically up there, but let's go around this place. We haven't really been traveling through this area, obviously, as you can see. Uh, I would have already uh, not not a bunch of stuff. My, my bad, bro. My bad. My bad. My bad. I ain't mean to do that. Uh, I'm gonna knock this out. Since, since I'm already I'm already by him or whatever, I'm, I'm gonna knock it out. That's a quick way to get through my uh. My, rep my reputation up in this area. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I had to get it off. I, I, I didn't mean to use my blazing key. There's always one of the dudes that's like really rid ridiculously strong. Even though that levels are low. Uh, what I mean by the levels being low is he only has one uh, mark over his head. Like he's, a, like he's a private or something like that. There's always one of them that's like for some reason, he's like definitely strong compared to the rest of them. The rest of them are dying like three or four hits, and one of them is like, nope, I'm t I'm tanking damage. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting him to reach me. Like you see, you see how easy they just died. The first two died super easy, standing went down like crazy, and that one was just like, nah, I'm good, bro. I want you to have it. Appreciate it, bro. All right, let's finish going back up here now. A lot, a lot of these quests can be knocked out like pretty easy and pretty quickly. So I think we're getting close to being finished with a uh, chapter two. I was looking through the trophies or whatever to see what I missed and stuff. There's, there's only two trophies that I need to get in this chapter. Let me get off the horse because this thing, this dog, the, the wolf won't run while you're on the horse, even if you run while you're on your horse. Oh my gosh. Who the hell are you? Oh, this is the first time he, it's the first time he, he, he led me to people. Usually he leads me to freaking uh, a corpse. This, this reminds me of the other quest. So there's another, uh, like pop-up quest that happens and it's this dude he's like hey help me like these people trying to steal my money type deal and when you get there he's like ha ha I tripped you and uh he comes at you but there's been like oh wow there's been like two times in which it wasn't a trick like there was actually what the f is he a ninja yeah he said I've never seen I'm glad this was recorded because I've never seen that this is the first time that's ever happened but anyways, the the the, uh, the other ones, he's like, yeah, these people are they 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 are trying to scam me for my money, blah 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 blah. And then you get there, and it's a setup. There's three other dudes, two other dudes basically, and you got to fight three people off, whatever case it be. And then one time I go, I'm following him like, all right, I know what's gonna happen. And and there actually was somebody there, and he helped me fight him. And I was like, what the hell? Like I really was not expecting that. I wasn't expecting him to help me at all because he'd been tricking me this whole time that I was expecting him to still be another trick. 
So these, so the, the the quest, I'm glad they put a little differential to him, but it's also like it's unpredictable at times. Like I don't know if he's gonna help me or if he's gonna betray or if he's gonna be freaking set me up. So I just prepare to be set up anyways because I'm gonna have to fight somebody no matter what. And that wolf one, like I said, that was the first time the wolf has ever led me to a fight. Usually the wolf leads you to a dead body. I think it's like his previous owner or something like that. The case may be. But that was pretty cool though. It turned to a little it had lightning attack and stuff. All right, let's see what she got for us. Oh. So you have decided to help, I see. I just saw some American troops marching straight into the garden. Something about this isn't right. I hope Mr. Fortune is safe. Please, go inside and check on him. Lemons are fruits, native to the West. According to Dr. Narasaki, a curative drink can be mixed from lemon juice, water, sugar, and salt. Cholera kills its victims through severe dehydration. Supposedly, this lemon concoction helps prevent the process. If he could produce it, we could save lives. A good friend of my father, Philip Franz von Siebold. He's a Scotsman who travels the world collecting plants. He just so happens to be in Japan, and is staying in these gardens. Thank you. All right, let's get into this. You be careful, won't you? <sighs> Excuse me. Defeat the formidable foes. Alright, he's getting too close to the other dudes over there. I need him to come back towards the entrance. Maybe. That grass, I don't think that grass is tall enough. Hold on. Oh, maybe I can knock these two out. Especially when the sword on his back. I mean, the shield on his back, because they're, they're usually a lot. Now I'm gonna get him. Oh my gosh. That, how do how I, I fly out of the range? Oh well. All right, now let's hop back up here. Okay. I never noticed at the bottom left corner there was a thing that said uh, arriving at the checkpoint. I never noticed that. That's one of the formidable foes right there. Sneaking around, see if we find some people, some more formidable foes. I hate how it makes me get up when I when I run. Like you can't, you don't want to creep faster. Like that's all I want you to do is just creep faster. I don't need you to get up. Hmm. If it were, if it would never made that noise that somebody spotted me, I would I wouldn't have known he was even up there. He could he could have got a jump on me.
He seems like a formidable foe. Yeah, I thought so. He seemed he he, he the way his attire is, it seemed like he was a formidable foe. Push the wrong button. I went to push R2 and I pushed L2. I mean, I pushed uh, triangle. Wow, what, what am I stuck on a tree? Come here, I, I, meant, I meant to do that. But instead, I made to push triangle. Okay, so the last one on the foe is probably way over there somewhere. What the? Wasn't that just a guy standing right here? Or am I tripping? Oh, I think it. I think it might have rotated me. Yeah, it, rot it rotated me the other way. Okay, how am I gonna get both of them? Damn it! You're dead. Oh yeah, I should drown. That's the first time I've seen that. Usually they 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 jump back out of the water. Would you pick it up? All right, so there's one more formidable foe left. I'm pretty sure he's over in the the area we need to go to. Which is the last part. Of it. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. The game lets you swim, lets you do a whole bunch of stuff, but sometimes it does not let you jump over certain things or climb over certain things. Like you, you, you just there's an invisible field there that you cannot get over. Yeah, there was a barricade there, but my character wasn't that far off the bar from the barricade that he couldn't have jumped over it. That she sh she couldn't have jumped over it basically. Yeah, that's my other formidable four right there. All right. That's the last one right there. I don't know exactly what this does for completing the optional quest. I don't know if it gives you an optional reward. For what? Because I, I... I don't even think there's a, a, a trophy... For completing the optional quest, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look again, but I don't remember seeing any trophy that said complete all optional quests or anything like that. So I don't even think there's a trophy anything for it. So I don't even know what the reason of doing the optional quests is. Like it, it has to be like it improves your rewards or something like that. And I'll check the tutorial to see if the tutorial says anything about it. But I, I haven't seen anything that like I haven't seen a reason of why I'm doing the optional quest other than me just wanting to do them. All right, bro. Turn your head. Turn around. Come on now. Assassin's Creed. This. Turn, turn. Turn around. You don't see nothing. Like it's all good. Turn around. Fuck it. Come here. Mm, off with his head. All right. Let's see if anything else is over here before we go into the final part of the quest area. And this is already unlocked. Oh, it's not unlocked. I, I thought it was unlocked because it had the flag on it. But, hey, he just popped up out of nowhere, or did he just jump out of the sky? I'm gonna have to rewatch that on the the video to see to see how he got there, because he he just came out of out of absolutely nowhere. Is that all? All right, let's sell this stuff. Is that all? I was uh, thinking about something the other day. Um, a lot of these new people that's new to the Souls games, 
and the whole new community with the Souls games have put this standard on the Souls games that you have to play all the Souls games. Okay. Okay. What is this area? I'm glad I did jump over there. Excuse me. They have put some new standard on the Souls game that you have to play the games basically uh, by yourself, like with no help, no summons, like no magic, like just raw dog in the game. Or you're not actually getting the game. I can't remember who it was. Somebody was playing and they was basically like, let me see if anything down here. And it was like, why do I keep doing this to myself? I, some, some one, okay. Let's go back up right quick first, but there's an area right there. One of the streamers was basically there's like like why am I doing this to myself like why why am I f oh so this is a shortcut the whole time that we didn't even know about okay I already know where we at but uh he's like why like why I get I could just summon somebody and I can and I could this could be done but instead like I'm I'm forcing myself to suffer by not summoning and not using certain things because it be and he's like why why am I like this why am I doing I think it was Jeff as a matter of fact he's like well, like why why am I doing this to myself like why. And I don't understand it either. Like the whole purpose of the game is supposed to be so you can enjoy the game. If you're not finding joy in the game anymore because you're making the game harder for yourself for no reason, why? Uh, uh, oh, who was this? Only the body can yield the I thought that was Wishman it for a second. What's, what's, oh, she got poison too. What's that chick name? The uh, the chick from uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I, th I thought I used my, uh... Oh my gosh. Stop that. You're doing too much. I am barely hurting her, too. Oh, I got my stamina was, was all messed up because... She, I mean, not my stamina, my, my, my health. She poisoned me. I can't see shit. I should have did that. Not that, not that at the time. Oh. Oh. I'm trying to heal. But she is messing me up. Where's that blade? So she, she's the second person so far that's had a unique weapon that I don't know if I can get or not. Like I, I feel like almost all weapons in the game or styles in the game you can you can get. Like, okay, she she getting faster. She getting faster. All right, we're done with that. You're done. No, you're, yeah, you're done. Turn it off now. Yeah, you're done. But that French dude, he he uses a sword and shield, I can't to fall here. and we haven't unlocked that style yet for sword and shield. And now she just used the whip blade like Ivy or freaking uh, Soul Caliber or whatever it was. What are you doing? Why well, can't talk to him? Okay, there we go. Who are you? Why don't we talk over there? You I said sword and shit, soul caliber. For me, I see you have my deepest gratitude. To be honest, I'm not all that sure myself. I suspect she was trying to steal rare plants. Uh, oh, uh, yet uh, my name is Robert Fortune. Now, I simply must repay you in some way. What do you say? Are, are you an acquaintance of hers? I will give her all she needs. I am growing lemons as a means of preventing scurvy. I shall box up all I have and send them to her. If that does not suffice, kindly let me know. So that's what it was. I thought it was scurvy when he said something about lemons. If ever you come across an interesting specimen, Crola, Crola, whatever it's called, disease is called, is is scurvy. I can appraise them, cultivate them, whatever I might be able to do to help.
Well? Was Mr. Fortune safe and well? Yeah, he fine. <laughs> so, all went swimmingly, it seems. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I shall be able to prepare a drink for those suffering from cholera. And it's all thanks cholera, to that's what it is. You have my thanks. My patients may require your assistance again. I'm of course. counting on you when the time comes. Yeah, 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 I got you. I, I'll do what I can, at least. I'm gonna say I'm surprised we I, I mean, unlocked the fat dude, but here we go. Hey! Let's go, Professor. All right. We knocked that out. What is this? Okay, this is the way out. Let me get to a good, good spot. All right, we knocked that out. That quest is done. Now we have one more quest for uh, Katsu, the Mighty Soldier. We will knock out the Mighty Soldier in the next video. I appreciate y'all tagging along with your boy. If y'all can leave a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed. For y'all folks on YouTube, that would be greatly appreciated. I'll catch y'all in the next one.